We're glad to have you with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak here. And as always, it's a real pleasure to be back in the studio with Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They're both financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. Now, we've got a great show lined up for you today. There are a lot of really timely, important things that we want to hit on. We want to make sure you're aware of as it relates to your retirement, what's going on right now with the economy and on the with the markets. I want to make sure you've got two things, and that is the website and the phone number, because throughout the show, we'll be telling you about the foundation's retirement planning courses. And if you're listening to the points being made on today's show, you're going to want to attend these courses so that you can come away with everything you need to know to have a successful retirement. We don't want anything to trip you up. So the phone number, 800-240-8981. That's the phone number to write down, 800-240-8981. If you're listening while sitting in front of your computer, you're welcome to surf on over to their website, retirementplanningedu.org, where you'll learn a lot more information about these courses. But Kirk, Michael, it's great to be back with you. We know there's so much market uncertainty right now. People are fearful, and maybe rightly so. What do we need to do? Well, I I think I'm hoping that those listeners who begin to listen to us right now, this show, stick around for the whole show, because we're going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be just general topics of what is going on in the economy right now, what are many people fearful of, but more importantly than what's going on, Let's talk about how you guys are feeling right now. We have a pretty good idea of how many of you are feeling, whether you have recently retired or you're within five years of retirement. This, what is happening right now, is going to significantly impact you guys, and you have to make some very critical decisions over the next few, uh, over this next few a little bit of time. Because if you make the wrong decisions, Instead of being able to retire in a couple of years, you may not be you, you may not have what you want to be able to retire for another eight years. Literally, I mean, there's a lot of things going on, and there's a lot of very critical things to talk about. And, and the reason why is all of the conventional uh, theories, all the conventional rules, all the conventional processes that the financial service industry has taught you, that you've read about, that you're watching on the news. They're all failing right before your eyes. They're failing. And by the way, if you've been listening to us for a long time, we told you this was going to happen. We knew that the old rules was not going to work given what the Fed had done, where the economy is at, and the way retirement works today, particularly for the people who are listening to our show, Michael, right? We know the people who listen to our show and who attend our classes These people tend to have over a million dollars of investable assets saved for retirement. These are those one to $10 million people. And the problem is for you guys, well, that's great that you did that, but you're all following these silly rules that were designed for the average retiree, the average baby boomer. Hear us. I'm talking to you. Hear what I am saying to you. The average baby boomer is going to retire with $200,000 saved. That's all they have. 40% of retirees only have Social Security to live on. That's it. So if you have a million, three, five, ten, you are not close to average and you shouldn't follow any of those rules because all of those rules are getting you in trouble right now. The problem is people have been following them and they've been relying on things like 60-40 portfolios or 4% withdrawal rates. And that stuff just is really, really inefficient and getting, I mean, the 60-40 portfolio right now is down worse than it was in 2008. Worse than, look, 60-40 60-40 is down, Michael. It's like 16% year-to-date. It's, it's bad. Bonds are getting crushed. You guys in your 401ks, you've had nowhere to hide. We've been telling you this for a long time. We've been screaming this. Do yourself a favor. Look, the Retirement Education Foundation is a charitable program. It's been around for 10 years. We're teaching classes at all the major universities, the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Michigan State, Oakland University. Um, what, what am I missing? We, we sometimes teach at Wayne State, just about every major university. We teach eight-hour courses. This is, like an, this is like a master's level retirement course. That's what it is. To attend, all you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Go to retirementplanningedu.org and register. Retirementplanningedu.org. 
We're talking about what's going on with the markets right now. And, you know, it's anyone's guess. And that type of uncertainty, that's what's causing a lot of fear out there right now. And a lot of uncertainty within yourself. Can you retire? Is this the right time? When will you be able to retire? Have you saved enough? All of these questions that may be swirling. And, you know, the overall arching concern, of course, there, Kirk and Michael, is will I run out of money? No one wants to face that. Tell us more about what you hope people will come away with with today's show. Well, it's funny you said it's anyone's guess. I want to go back to that point. You said it. It's anyone's guess. Not any of you listeners. Like the experts, it's anyone's guess. They don't know. P.S. They've never known. (laughs) I hope you guys recognize that. They never know. They don't know. Markets aren't rational. Who expected when the market, the the whole economy shut down for the markets to rally and have the best 50 days in the history of the stock market as they shut down the economy? No one knows. Turn on. Now, the scary part, Michael, is a lot of really, really respected analysts and economists are saying this is going to be a hard landing. We still have 20, 30 percent more downside to go. That would take us 40 to 50 percent down total. And that's back to 2008 levels. So 2008 market fell 54 percent. If the experts, the so-called experts, get what they're calling for, we're going to revisit a stock market crash similar to that. And 2008, it took the market five years to break even. Five years. So if someone says, you know what, I had four million bucks back in January and now I have three million bucks and they're trying to wait until the market recovers, you could be waiting for two, three, four, five years. No, you don't want to wait. It's not about waiting. It's do I have what I need to give me what I want for the rest of my life right now? Do I have what I need? I don't care what you had. You can't wait. You lost a whole decade from 2000 to 2010. You can Look, look, the Fed has told you like we're not. This isn't about trying to create fear. And as you listen through this class, this show today, you're going to learn that we're going to we're likely going to teach you. You can spend a lot more money in retirement than you thought. And our fears aren't that you're going to outlive your money, those of you who have saved money. It's that you're going to underspend your money. But the Fed has admittedly said they are trying to break the economy. He can't mince the words anymore. He has to stop the inflation. And whatever it takes to do it, he's going to do it. They've they've admitted they're breaking the economy. That's what's going to happen. You need to learn what to do for retirement, when to retire, how to take income, how to navigate these choppy waters. Register for an eight-hour class at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back more with Kirk and Michael right after this. It's always a pleasure to be here with Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They're both financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. We're glad you've tuned in. To the Retirement Education Hour, I'm Megan Mozak. The phone number to get registered for the Foundation's retirement planning courses. As Kirk told you, these really are master-level courses on retirement, and we want you to be there in the front row so that you have all the information you need to plan for a successful retirement, to enjoy a successful retirement. That's what it's all about. You've saved, you've worked, now it's time to enjoy it. But you need a plan, a plan that can withstand just about anything. So I want you to call this number to get registered, 800-240-8981. Again, 800-240-8981. You can also register on the website. Here's that address. It's retirementplanningedu.org, retirementplanningedu.org. We've been talking about what's going on in the markets, the fear that that's causing across the nation with retirees and right here in the Detroit metro. And of course, we've got inflation. Can't ignore that. What's the impact that inflation and these historically high levels have had, Michael and Kirk, on retirees? Well, it you know, unfortunately, we hate to say, you know, we told you so. I mean, we've been on these airways for a lot of years now. And I would say for the last four plus years, we told you that this was going to come. And I know what you're saying to yourselves. Well, if you make a prediction, it's eventually going to come no matter what. And, and it wasn't even a prediction. And it's not, it wasn't about being specifically right. It was about a strategy that you all have been conditioned and brainwashed literally your whole lives into believing 
was going to be protection for you during times of market volatility. And it is failing you miserably right now. And it's been fi- failing you for the last couple of years really badly. And again, we have been coming on these airways begging you to come to our classes. And those people who thousands of people come to our classes and those people, well, they have benefited because they have they have learned to reposition some of these assets to re reevaluate how you approach a retirement plan. OK, those of you who haven't been to the class, I've been begging you guys. It's a charitable program at a university. You can even stream it from your own home. Give up eight hours so you don't make the mistake. We're going to talk later about why people are making this mistake because people are overconfident. They got lucky. And we're going to talk about how I, how they got so lucky to have so much money. And now they think those same strategies are going to help them now. And they're not. Michael, when interest rates rise, your bond values crash. So all your bond funds, all your target dated funds, Everything that was supposed to protect you during these times of market volatility, volatility, those times during COVID market volatility, same thing, same reaction, your portfolios got crushed and they're getting crushed now. Nowhere to hide in your fours because the bonds are getting hammered. So you're right. And stocks and bonds are two totally different animals. Stock market can go up and down. Valuations can, can change. But bond, the bond market's math. When interest rates rise, bonds fall, period. That's the math. Now, interest rates have been rising rapidly at historic rates because the Fed has to squash this inflation. Like you said, Powell has said, we will do what it takes, period, to break this inflation. They are not slowing down. They know they're crashing the stock market. They know they're crushing the bond market. They are not slowing down until inflation starts to slow down. They're, they know they have to kill jobs. They're, I mean, literally, they have to kill jobs. Layoffs are coming. They have to do that. They have to break the economy to stop this inflation. And to put this in perspective, so I'm looking at a chart right now. So the past 46 years, the average bond drawdown is 3% in any given year. So let me define. A drawdown means the maximum at any given point in a year that the bond, a bonds as a whole were down in value. And the worst, the average is 3%? Average is 3% in the past 46 years. Yep. This year, so far this year, it's going to get worse. So far this year, bonds are down 13%. How about, that's year to date? That's year to date. So from peak to trough from 2021, they're down 15%. Yeah. So peak to trough, they're down five times worse than the average. This is the worst we've seen it going back into the early 70s. And Michael, I, if you look at the 20-year treasury, I looked at the number the other day, it's down 26%. The 20-year treasury, U.S. government, lending money to U.S. government for 20 years is down 26% over the, and I sh- we shouldn't use specific numbers because it moves around and when our radio show goes on, uh, but around, let's just call it around 20 It is remarkable what's happening to bonds. But by the way, for the last five years, we've told you the stocks and bonds are over 90% correlated, meaning they are going to move in the same direction as one another. It has been for the last five years, and it's likely to continue this way for a little little while now. Now, there's a caveat, Michael, and what we're talking about in the classes today are different than what we were just talking in the classes even three months ago about short-term strategies on some bonds we could be utilizing to create pivots for people. And I don't want to get too technical, right? But you can't accomplish what we're going to teach you in the class. You can't accomplish the strategies you need to to utilize, to, 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 the strategies you need to implement to defend your retirement income in retirement the, with, with within a bond fund, within your 401ks, you're going to need to own individual bonds themselves, not I bonds. Stop. Any, all you I bonders, stop. You can buy 10,000 of them at a, a year. I'm not, we're talking to not the average baby boomer who's retired with $200,000. You guys have a million, three, five. I bonds are going to get you nowhere. Nowhere. You can't buy enough to do anything. So you have to own individual bonds. You can't do that in your fours. Your retail investors, your retail brokers aren't going to be able to do this properly for you. For the first time, Michael, we're laddering bonds again. Just this month, we're starting to ladder bonds again. There's the, the strategies are moving so quickly to be protective of your retirement income that you have to take a class to understand how to maximize your income in retirement, but also know 
what to do during times of volatility. You should not reduce your spending. You should not change your lifestyle every time we have a major market event. And we don't change anything for a short-term market event. If you've constructed a retirement plan properly, like we teach in the class, you won't have to change your lifestyle. Imagine, you're going to have four to seven events like this through a 30-year retirement. This isn't the last time. You better position yourself properly to be able to make the pivots of where you take your income from during times of volatility. We'll talk more about this. Stick around. We also encourage you, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Check out the courses. Check out the webinars. Register for one of our eight-hour courses that are teaching at all the major universities, or you can stream from your home. I hope you go there. See you then. We'll be back. There's more with Michael and Kirk right after this. I'm here with Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin of the Retirement Education Foundation. They're both financial educators. And Kirk and Michael, they've been talking today about what's happening with the market, what's happening with inflation, how that's affecting bonds and how that's affecting retirees and this environment that we're all in. And boy, I'm learning a lot. I know you are too. I want to make sure you know, though, that there is an even deeper dive than the radio show, and you can be in the front row for this. It's the Retirement Education Foundation's retirement planning courses, and we want you to attend. So here's how you do it. You can call to register 800 240 8981, or you can go on the website retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Kirk and Michael, I want to talk about these pivots that I'm hearing you speak of. And I know you talk about the pivots that sometimes are necessary in your courses that you teach. Tell us a little bit more about this. Sounds like we have to be nimble, huh? Well, you do. And it's it's a, it's a nimble that is different than anyone has ever taught you, right? See, the whole financial service industry, their entire value proposition is they tell you that they can stock pick in market time and invest better than you can. And so everything you've been taught and everything that all of you believe, yes, you, the very successful high net worth individual listening to me right now, you have been taught is that to minimize volatility in retirement, you're going to have to manage your portfolio and stock pick and try to reduce standard deviation. Look, you guys are playing a game that you can't win and you can just ask all the experts right now how they're doing to manage their retire people's retirement plans and everyone's getting crushed right it, he, here's why you guys look this the, what we're teaching in the university is a master's levels class the people who attend the course our course the eight hour course at all the universities these people are the do-it-yourselfers the engineers the ceos the cfos the cpas you guys i know you did really well financially and you're sitting on a fair amount of nest egg for retirement. The problem is that is created an overconfidence. Some of it is arrogance, ego. Some of you are narcissistic about it. I'm picking on you. Yes, I hope you guys hear me because you have zero idea on how much you can spend in retirement, when you can retire. Many of you are working and you shouldn't be working. Many of you already have what you need to give you what you want, but you're following all the general rules and the stupid online calculators and retirement calculators. You should be able to create double the income that the retirement calculators are telling you because you're not average. You have one, five, ten million dollars, three million dollars. Your plan has to be different. And what's going to drive your success is knowing where to pivot to take your income from during times of market volatility. Not changing your investments, not changing your investment strategies when we have volatility. None of us are smart enough. No one's smart enough to do that. If anyone tells you they can, they're lying to you. There's nobody that can do that. It's going to be where you pivot to take your income from during times of volatility. And minimizing taxes, which we'll get into later. There's so much tax planning to be done that no one is doing for you or talking to you about that, again, we teach in the class. Now, so look, Michael, I'm going to throw this to you in a minute here. But I want to talk to all the people who have saved a tremendous amount of money for retirement. Now, I know that you guys have done a couple of things really well, and this has created an overconfidence. One, you've saved really well. You have been disciplined. You saved a lot of money. 
and you were disciplined enough to stay invested through most of your working years, you didn't panic. Okay. Therefore, you got a lot of money now. Now, let me tell you why you have a lot of money. You had and you you took advantage of something called compound interest, which around year 15, especially in year 20 through 30, really starts to kick into overdrive. I mean, compound interest is remarkable that last 10 years that you're working. Now, on top of that, layer on the best decade in the stock market history. We had the best decade in the market history. Literally, a monkey could have thrown a dart at a wall and would have been able to pick a winner. So some generations get lucky when their their highest earning years just happen to line up with a good decade in the stock market. That's it. That is the case for many people retiring right now is their highest earning years just so happen to line up with the best decade in the stock market we've had in uh, 30, 40 years. So now we've got a bunch of people overconfident, thinking they know what the hell they're doing, and they don't. You have no clue on how to distribute your money. You have no clue on how much you can take. You don't know what account you should be taking it from. And you've got investments that you love. You love. We're going to call this furniture. You're going to have furniture that's not going to fit in your new retirement home because your retirement is about the distribution of your wealth. And where do I take it from and when and do it most tax efficiently? And that conventional wisdom everyone has been following using a 60-40 portfolio or I'm going to withdraw from my bonds. Well, guess what? Your bonds are down 15%. You you blew up your retirement. You just really significantly impacted your retirement. You have to make some pivots. You have to know how to construct a 30-year plan knowing knowing that we're going to have market events like this again. This is going to happen again four, five, six times throughout your retirement. Market events, you're not going to like a president, an election. One of your, If you're married, your spouse is going to die. You're going to have major life events. There's going to be these events that we know are going to occur. We know they're going to happen. We just don't know when. So you have to construct a plan so that when they do happen, you can pivot to the appropriate accounts to pull your income from so you don't have to reduce your spending or change your lifestyle. And I'm gonna, real quick, talk about our private practice, and I don't normally do it. This is our charity, our charitable show, and the the classes we teach is is a charitable program. But in our private practice, that we're responsible for $2 billion and over 1,000 clients, not one. Not one of our clients is panicked. They didn't panic in 2000. They didn't panic in 2008. They didn't panic during COVID. No one's changed their lifestyle. No one is changing anything because they, the plans were constructed to have pivots. So when these events happen, we pivoted where we took the income from, not the investments and the strategies we use. So I know this sounds very different than what you imagined. I'm on top of my chair, kicking and screaming. I hope you can hear me. I'm passionate. Just spend eight hours. It's a master's levels course. We're teaching them at all the major universities, University of Michigan, Eastern, Oakland, Michigan State. We have a learning center in Livonia. We are streaming them live so you can watch it from your home while we're teaching in the university. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. That's all we ask, $29 to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And there's plenty more straight ahead. Stay with us. You're listening to the Retirement Education Hour. Have you registered yet? We want you to register for the Retirement Education Foundation's courses. And we want you to do that today. Why? Well, the courses fill up quickly and we believe you deserve a great retirement and it starts with a plan. So understanding how to plan for retirement here in the 21st century, it really is a lot more complicated than it used to be. And so attending these courses really gives you your best foot forward in helping you enjoy retirement, helping you feel secure in your retirement and confident in this next phase of life. Here's how you can make plans to get registered. If you haven't already, go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. Again, it's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. 
Kirk, we were talking earlier about these pivots that you say we have to be prepared to make as we're moving closer to retirement or in retirement. Tell me about some of the lessons that you teach in this course that I was just telling our listeners about and how to build out these pivots. So I think it's important for people who are listening to understand this is a really advanced master levels course. So we are teaching people, just to give you an idea of the type of people attending our class, these are you know uh, CFOs for Fortune 500 companies. We have many executives for, from the automotive industry, a lot of CPAs, retired pension fund managers who are responsible for really large pensions. Managed money their whole lives. That's what they did. But retirement income planning, tax planning, and how to know how much you can spend when is a whole different strategy that, frankly, there are very few people in the industry that really know how to do it or truly implement it because it is so darn time consuming. I know in our private practice, if we, when we take on a client, and by the way, we don't take on very many new clients, but when we do, We spend 50 to 60 hours to build their individualized custom plan. And this is why the financial service industry isn't teaching this, promoting this, or talking about this. Because they would rather meet 10 different people and sell them 10 different products than spend 60 hours with one person to construct a plan. So in our class, we teach what takes us 60 hours to build an individual plan. Here's the question you all need to be asking yourself. Do you have what you need right now to give you the retirement you want? And for many of you, the answer is yes. You don't know that it's yes because all the calculators are screaming to you, no, you don't. Everyone that you talk to saying, you probably don't. The books that you're reading, because many of you are do-it-yourselfers, you are convinced you don't. Next segment, we're going to talk about emotions, fear, and anxiety that you're starting to have with relationship with your money that you didn't have in the past. But I'm telling you, most of you with a million dollars or more have more than you need to give you the retirement you want. The number, Michael, the number that people can take out from, from even in, in, their, in their early 60s, you, you could start, begin taking that 6%, 7% maybe even 8% withdrawal rates in your early to mid 60s, I've seen nine in in some of our plans, is out withdraws out of your plans with a zero chance of outliving your cash flow. And it starts with understanding how to build a retirement plan. And and I I know, Michael, we teach it as if it's buckets because people – seem to understand the concept of bucketing better, but don't be fooled. Tell them, Michael, it, it, it sounds simple, but it's not. Will you describe a little bit? So we use the bucketing method because people, like you said, they have been bucketing their money their whole lives. I have my vacation fund. I have my tax fund. I have this checking account. Compartmentalizing. Account. People compartmentalize their money. Yeah. So we use that same structure when building a plan. So we need Buckets for short-term money, buckets for mid-term money within five to eight years, bucket for long-term money. And each of these buckets, it's not just one bucket. There need to be sub-buckets and sub-components. It's a lot more complicated than it sounds. And each bucket has to have a different strategy for a different reason. And we can't allow these short-term events to start to cloud our judgment of, "Uh uh-oh, my long-term growth bucket is down 30% with the stock market. That's okay. That's what, it's there, that's what it's there for as long as you have your short-term bucket set up already. If you don't have a short-term bucket, you're in trouble. Well, so that's the thing, Michael. They, you know, they, the, the bucket that people have been using is like 60-40, right? And so I'll just take from my bond. No, that, that, that hasn't worked the last couple of years. It's not going to work for the next several years. It is a little more sophisticated than that for those of you who have a million dollars or more. The average baby boomer, it's really simple. You have to protect your principal. I mean, you are much more limited to what you can do. But those over a million dollars, you can have many buckets for different types of events. And so so let's take it a step further. And we teach this in the class. We have a pretty strong feeling about there's no one in, in our industry. And we've been doing this a long time, including ourselves. We don't believe people can stock pick or market time. We are indexers. We believe buy and hold. 
no managed portfolio. It's simple. Investing is simple. If you just took your million dollars 20 years ago and bought the S&P 500, you'd have over $5 million today. None of you did better than that. There isn't a mutual fund manager in the country that's done better than that over the last 20 years. Go ahead. What were you going to say? So that's that's the long-term bucket. The long-term bucket is really, really easy. Buy the index, let the that. market do its job. The short-term bucket, the challenge is that these the, the appropriate strategies change over time. So the, the strategies we have available to us today with interest rates at 3 or 4% are very, very different than the strategies we were using even a year ago when the one-year treasury was at 0.07%. Today it's at 4%. Right. It's a totally different landscape, and there's no textbook, there's no Yahoo Finance article you can go to that can keep you up to date on this stuff. So that's the point. You're still going to have your long-term growth buckets, Right. And when the market's sailing and roaring, you can pull income out of those buckets. But when the market gets volatile, when we start to have significant volatility, is when you're going to pivot to whatever strategies that were best at the time of you designing your plan or what's best today. They have to be in place in advance. You can't react. It's got to be there already. And then, in addition, and, and we're getting a little advanced, there's got to be this layer of right around 70-ish of money that you can sort of create a pension that never stops. So now you've got buckets for whatever market events and conditions you have and a safety net to know that there's going to be an income stream that you can never outlive. So we oversimplified it. This is why the class is eight hours. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Please register. Attend a class. We'll teach you how to build these plans. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we will be back with Kirk and Michael right after this. This is the Retirement Education Hour. Glad you're with us on the show today. Great, great program as we're outlining a lot of things that need to be on your radar if you're looking at retiring soon or if you're newly retired. And a great way to even build upon the things you're hearing on the show now and today is to register for the Retirement Education Foundation's courses. These are really master's classes in understanding retirement here in the 21st century. We want you to have a front row seat, so get registered today. Find a date and a location that works best for you. Keep in mind, these courses are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi, and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. Plus, we give you the option to take a virtual class. That's right. You can listen in the comfort of your own home. So registering is very, very simple. Go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call to register 800-240-8981. So Kirk and Michael, between market volatility, inflation, knowing that we have to be pretty nimble and flexible with our plans, with some pivots that you discussed, you know, there can be a lot of just general worry, just general emotion that enters into the equation. And you say that can be a problem. So tell us about how uh, these typical human emotions that we all have can sometimes really start to cause a problem with our retirement planning. Well, any of our regular listeners know that the other co-host of the show with me, Dr. Paul Mettler, Paul is my brother, different father, same mother, long story, but he is my brother. And I think most of you know that Dr. Mettler, is, uh, his background is in psychology with an MBA at University of Michigan and a specialty in geriatric psychology. So the, these, these courses are, are master's levels. Sincere, these are, it's a lot of information. It's gonna, eight hours seems like a long time. It's gonna f- blow by. And we are going to get really advanced with the numbers, techniques, strategies, a lot of taxes. We talk a tremendous amount about taxes. We spend, how do I show you how to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes just by knowing when to take income from which accounts, filling buckets, when to Roth convert, how and when to use charitable strategies, all of those things, right? So that's great. And, and, And I think that's where people are coming to the class to get the bonus of the class for especially those of you who are engineers, super smart people, right? 
sometimes don't have the greatest insight from an emotional perspective, they don't tend to be really in tune with their emotions, are going to realize as they get close to retirement and then once retired that their relationship with money is going to change. You're going to have so much more anxiety and fear, and it's going to manifest in a lot of different ways. One, and, and we're going to, and that's a big part of this class too, is how do I manage my emotions, right? And you're going to say, no, that's not me. Well, 35% of all people over the age of 65, 35% of people over the baby boomers, retirees, 35% panicked in March at the bottom during COVID. We're seeing tremendous amounts of people around the country panicking right now. So we have numbers for this. So the Duke CFO survey is at or near all-time lows. The U of M consumer sentiment survey is, it, it hit lower than 2008. Consumers were more pessimistic in the past two, two or three months here than they were in 2008. So people are nervous, they are scared, and like you said, this manifests in different ways. And to your point, some people are more in tune about this stuff, some people are not. It's typically men who cannot recognize that they're nervous or they won't admit to themselves or other people that they're nervous. Yeah. You have to get over that. This It's a different game. Building the wealth is not as scary when you're 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 because you have decades of time ahead of you to keep saving when there's market volatility. Oh, and you got someone else sending you a paycheck to pay your bills. <laughs> but once you retire... You are the paycheck. You have to pay yourselves. Or if you're not retired yet, you're thinking, how in the world can I leave my job and leave my paycheck when my nest egg, my portfolio is down 20, 25, 30%? And what happens if it takes the market too long to recover? All these fears creep in and it makes people make mistakes. It doesn't matter how far your portfolio or an investment has fallen. At this point in your lives, it's irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. Because you may not have the time to see it come back, first of all, and you may already have everything you need to give you the retirement you want. In fact, we'll tell you that 75% of the people attending our class have what they need to give them what they want. They've already won. They've won the race, but they allow their fears and anxiety to anchor themselves in, oh, I have to wait until it comes back. What? Wait a second. Do you realize that only 40% of people get to choose when they're going to retire? That's it. That's the numbers. That's the statistic. 40% of you. Only 40% of you. Why? Health event. Pandemics now. Recession. The Fed is telling you they're pushing us into a recession. Unemployment rates are going to go up. That's going to happen. So, you're waiting for something to, ha to come back up when you're likely to get laid off because you're the oldest or some of the oldest in your in your in employment groups at your at your jobs oh and by the way are you going to be waiting a decade for it to come back like we saw the last time you can't do that you have to figure out do you have what you need to give you what you want and the simple answer is if you are in your early 60s and you can live on six seven eight percent of whatever you've saved you got two million dollars you should be able to create $120,000 to $150,000 if you're in your early to mid-60s. You can do it with zero chance of outliving your cash flow. You need to go to the class. And again, we're begging people, have some humility here. We always hear, well, you know, I, I will not get let go in a recession. I'm too important to my team. I'm too important oh. to my company. I mean, right now we're talking to a lot of the Ford people who got let go, and that's what they were saying pre package and now they're saying i can't believe i got let go I have we all were, these patents i'm so important we were telling these people you are good at your job you are important but it's a math problem they're cutting costs you are more expensive it's gonna happen again you guys were around for 2000 the, the 2008 during the financial crisis who were getting laid off from all those automotive jobs that you were working with when you were young who was it it was you it was those mid to late 50s early to mid 60s the, you're next, right? So stop anchoring to what you had. It's irrelevant what you had. What do you have now? Can it give you what you want to have the retirement you want? Because all you're doing is potentially putting your own retirement in peril to keep playing this game. Go to an eight-hour course so you can learn. You'll know the answers after you go to the class. You can register. We're teaching at almost every class. We're streaming them live at every university. We're streaming them live so you can watch them from home. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If 
you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we're back with Kirk and Michael after this. Happy to be alongside Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin, both financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. You know, there are a number of instructors when you attend the Retirement Education Foundation's courses. Kirk and Michael might be there in the classroom. You might be introduced to some other faces. And we want you to attend. We want you to sit there and really absorb all there is to know about how to plan for a successful retirement in the 21st century. It does not happen by accident. It does not happen with a a hope and a prayer, although those are great things. It really does happen with a plan. And we're going to be talking about that here in just a moment. But we want to give you the best advantage toward success in retirement by giving you the information on how to register for these courses, these deep dives into retirement planning, you can call 800-240-8981 or go to the website, find a date and location that works best for you, retirementplanningedu.org. These are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi, and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. So call, go online, register today. We talked about planning, Kirk and Michael. I mentioned it earlier. This really is the antidote, right, to a a retirement crashing and burning. What do you hope people walk away from in these courses? So I want to challenge everyone. I'm going to challenge all of our listeners. I make, when we teach the class, one of the first things that I always tell people in the beginning of the class is that If you don't leave here better prepared for retirement, like a game changer, massive change, like you learned so many things you didn't know about and that you needed to know about. If you didn't feel that, if you didn't feel that way when you left my class, I will make a thousand dollar donation to whatever charity they want. So I'm going to challenge all of our listeners again. I mean, I'm willing if any of you listeners come to one of our courses Sit through eight hours, and after those eight hours, you tell me you are not better prepared for retirement, and like this course wasn't a game changer. Master's level, I learned so much I need to know, and it's going to change my retirement. If you don't feel that way, I'll make a $1,000 donation to whatever charity you want, okay? That's how, hell, I'll make a $2,000 donation. I've had to do it one time at the University of Michigan. It was because I was telling someone things that they didn't want to hear, but whatever, they felt like they didn't walk away with much, I made that donation. We have taught tens of thousands of people. I've had to do it one time. That's how confident we are that you, you executives, CEOs, CFOs, CPAs, attorneys, you need to attend this class. I'm jumping and screaming. Listen, what do you need in retirement? How much do you want in retirement? Where are you going to take the income from? Do you have enough to give you what you want? You probably, many of you do. You're not the average baby boomer. Stop following average baby boomer strategies and rules. You are not. You have so much more than the average baby boomer. So in this class, we're going to teach you the number one risk to retirement called sequence of return risk. And then we're going to teach you how to build a plan to avoid income plan, to avoid sequence of return risk. We're going to teach you how investments to avoid that you guys don't need to be investing in anymore and the ones that are expensive. We're going to go through all the fees, the expenses, the hidden fees. You all think your net expense ratio is all you're paying for are your mutual funds. There's a lot more fees. We're going to teach it all to you. So we're going to identify the appropriate types of investments that you should utilize in your plan. And your investments that you should be utilizing is going to be different than your friends' investments that they should be utilizing in their plans. That's the point. We're going to teach you that you deserve and need an individualized plan given the type of assets you have, the amount of assets you have. If you're single married and if there's an age gap or no age gap, if legacy is important, if it's not important, all of these variables, is there health issues? Is there no health issues? All of these variables is what will determine what you invest in, how to take income from, when to take income from, how to minimize taxes how to make sure you protect your surviving spouse. Legacy isn't just your children. It's the surviving spouse. Then how do I leave the assets appropriately for our children? Michael, how many people with millions of dollars coming to our classes, we find out are using online legal service, Susie Orman or their free legal services that they're signing up through their works? 
all of the time, and it's almost always done incorrectly, especially for their level of net worth. And one thing I do want to say, so I'd encourage people to go on the website. We have a sample plan walkthrough. It's about a 45-minute walkthrough of a, of a full sample plan we, we talk about in the class. And that covers a lot of the topics we're talking about today because your plan should not be a Money Guy Pro or eMoney print, a 60-page printout that some intern input four variables for and it spits out a couple dials of success. If you take X amount, you are 80% likely to succeed. If you it's take not Y a amount, it's, those are not plans. That's not a plan. That does not tell you how much income to take from which accounts at which times, how to manage taxes, how to manage sequence, sequence of returns risk. You need a plan that maps these things out. What happens when one spouse dies? Oh, there's a lot of things that happen, right? I mean, the married person goes from married, I mean, the, the surviving spouse goes from married, finally joined to single. So their allowable income is cut in half. So therefore, yes, the surviving spouse's income is going down, but their taxes are going to go way up. And for many of our listeners with a million, two, three, four million, their Medicare premiums are means tested and it gets cut in half when one dies. There's so many traps and that's totally avoidable. We teach people how that surviving spouse will pay little to no income taxes when the first spouse dies, even if there's a ton of IRAs. In 401ks, it's just about you know something's going to happen in the future. We can teach you how to build plans to minimize and reduce all of those risks that we know are going to happen in the future. We just don't know when. So, please, I I hope you hear the passion. We are, like, screaming at you folks, given everything that's going on in the economy and the fear we are seeing every time we teach a class right now. It is remarkable the fear we're seeing in people's eyes. I know it's there, folks. I know you have it. So register. It's an eight-hour course. We're teaching at all the major universities, Michigan, Michigan State, Eastern Michigan, Oakland. We're streaming the classes live from the university. So if you don't, if you just want to check it out for an hour to see what it's about, I promise you, you'll stick around, but do it. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800 240 Eight nine eight one. Investment advisory services are offered by Strategic Investment Advisors, Inc., an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is a paid placement.